Welcome back to Ship Happens. Today, for a change, I'm going to paint a bilge. <laughs> Simon's still in the process of laying some floor down, but I'm going to get this area of bilge painted and work my way back. You want to see what it looks like before? Oh, and guess what? I'm not painting it grey. Pink? No. So close. Today, dear. I'm using Hempel's white, what, white, white bilge and locker paint. So I think I'm getting a bit fed up with grey, and I think when the boat is finished, I think all the inside will be white, and then obviously all the walls will be panels and rooms and stuff. And um, so I'm going to paint the bilge white. We're going to put all the ballast back in. We're going to finish the floor beams we've got to at the front. And we're going to get a floor down today. So before I paint the bilge, we've had a bit of rainwater come in through the night. So we're going to whack loads of sawdust down just to dry the bilge out as much as we possibly can, ready for paint. Okay. And uh, we're going to we're going to start templating the the actual sole. Yes. Before we paint, and then we can tear that off, and that can be painted. Yep. Okay. on it in the rainwater and it will fight I'll show you where the rain is run it better get that Jenny on for all the hoovering I'm gonna have to do today yeah yeah because we've got no sun <laughs> no sun today it sticks to the water and it's pretty it's not snow it's not Christmas yet nearly is though So what we've just worked out is a full 8 before sheet of 18 mil will not fit downstairs. No. So we're going to have to put that into our calculations when we're cutting the floor. It's going to be a lot smaller by the time we um, okay. cut this template. But, right, so I'll put that piece of wood there. Can you see it? Maybe? Don't know. Is this how I've got something to stand on? Yeah. So we don't fall through because obviously it's going to give us like a false sense of security when we put a piece of sheet across. We've got... I don't know whether the camera can see this. We've got like a huge big, I don't know what it is, big it's moth, like moth uh... floating around. Oh, it's massive. Right, stay down there. Right, come on, before the camera does another error. <laughs> Dinner. Right, gotta go and release him outside. He's probably not gonna be happy because it's raining. <laughs> it's gonna be more pissed off. Yes, it's gonna be no! Ugh. Don't fall through the gaps. <laughs> so just taking a big chunk of the meat off it for now. So you're not going to show up and get sawdust in your bilge, are you? Uh, no, not after the amount you just cut down there. Don't get sawdust in my white bit. Just so we can get it that way now. Should I follow your wonky line or should I just stay straight? Just, just straight up. 
What's your opinion of the Ryobi Jigsaw? The yellow ones are better, aren't they? Yeah. The yellow ones are really good. Simon's done a fabulous job on the template. Don't blame me. <laughs> oh, God, we've still got wrong yet. Yep. <laughs> but obviously that was out of bendy hardwood. So now, can we get this piece back up the stairs to cut the big piece of eight before and will then the 18 mil come down? That's the least of my worries at the moment. <laughs> Alright, so Jimmy's on the jigsaw now. We're probably gonna show me up. So I'm not stopping. Did you show me up? <laughs> I'm not stopping before the line because uh, I can't be bothered doing the rest, but. Now what we need to do is get the multi-tool in and put the angle on it. Yeah, because we can't really get the jigsaw in here. Multi-tool. Multi-tool time. We'll just add that. There it is. It's behind you. <laughs> so we've just been having a bit of a conversation saying, by the end of putting this in, this is going to be full of expanded foam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we've got this completely upside down, left to right, and I um, don't know, it's probably going to end up wet by the end of the day somehow. <laughs> but, it's the first piece of floor, and your first thing you put in, it's never perfect, you learn as you go, so by the time we get to the last piece... <laughs> so what are you doing? <laughs> so, that's my angle. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sweet. Ready? Yeah, go on, I bet it goes everywhere. <laughs> See if we can get this downstairs. Quite a lump as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> so, mate, oh, go on, see if you've got the heavier. Oh, I think we need to put the big end down first. Yeah, so we won't be able to turn it on. Oh. Oh, there we go. Let's get a Very well, does it? Oh, so One miles away, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the gun mount. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, there we go. Some space, huh? Where you got oh, oh, I can't jump two islands of hitting my head. Yeah, it's just such a nice stunt here. So we scroll over there. Oh. Look, and I haven't got to climb up and down my frames anymore. Yeah, when we do the nails. Okay. First bit of floor. Done. Ish. Still going to get painted, come back out. So we clean the build, so paint the build. So we need to get it out. Put the ballast <laughs> back in. Maybe we should have someone climb in and push it up from underneath. Gemma. <laughs> Right, well, Jim is downstairs hoovering the bilge. I'm on my least favourite camera. I won't get into that today. Right, so we're going to epoxy on the edges of the ply now. So if we do get any water in, because we will be getting water in because the roof still leaks, but we can't really stop it. Um, so yeah, it's going to get wet. So we need to basically seal all the edges. So all the edges now are basically very tired, there's no, there's, no, there's no voids, but technically moisture now could, could wick its way in. So if we wick some epoxy into it now, and then we can then paint over the top, and then it'll all be great, won't it? So I'm using a a normal paintbrush cut down. I can't remember whose YouTuber saw it on. Might be um, um, Travels with Jordy or um, Samson um, on Tally Ho. But it's quite good for like stippling it in and getting it all in the um, in the little fingers. So it's not quite as normally the normal thickness. But um, so we want it a bit runny so it soaks in a bit. Quick update on your paint, please, Joe. It's not as fun as it used to be painting. Um, Especially when you bent over. Yeah, I feel my age today. My back's aching, my legs are aching, but it's getting there. But when you stand back, Yay. it looks like looks like it's got a like, lot like, like new boat look. It's this is in our new super yacht. <laughs> super duper yacht. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Super duper paint job. We're getting there. Nearly done, dear. So I can always point some out as well. It's obviously you've missed a bit. No, the valve's wide open. Oh no, I opened it before. I was painting around it. Yeah. Close now. Close now. Because when we get home, we'll be like, oh, did we close the valve? So we've recorded it. We've closed the valve. Don't panic, you can go back to bed, Gemma. Yeah, the valve has closure. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it was the hardest bit to paint is going to be. The bit that I'm sat in. <laughs> That's the deepest part. And I can't do it while I'm in here. So yeah, come back in a minute and you'll see me upside down with my arse in the air or something. <laughs> Probably end up being me. You shine so For a 79 year old bilge, obviously it's never going to be perfect like a brand new fiberglass boat, but it doesn't look too bad for the old girl, does it? So, paint's dry, 
I've been under strict instructions not to stand in it. Don't dirty me, nice clean bilge. I'm not quite sure how we're going to achieve that, but Jim is going to be freaking out at least, I don't know, 50% 50, 50 of the day, I think. So now we need to figure out how to put all these back in. But luckily, I've numbered them all. And I've got a little corresponding map, which is on the bench over there, which we'll get out in a second, and we'll start putting all these in. Okay, should we start with... Start with the D's. Is that, is that I don't understand your man. <laughs> what is it, A, A4, B4, C4, D4? Yeah. Pretty. So you're pleased with your shuttering? Yeah, I am. So at least that'll stop the ballast from damaging any hull or frames. Cool. Time. Time for the heavy work now, isn't it? Ballast! Well, what's Robbo doing upstairs now? Oh gosh, we're going to have a look. So we've got Robbo up here today. Painting again. Painting. So all the epoxy. All the epoxies cure on the um, on the end grain of the plywood, and uh, Robbo's just going to give it a quick touch on your paint. Yep, touch all this up, and then if uh, you already done the bottom, haven't you? So just get it all nicely sealed. My two favourite things: sand your boat and paint your boat. <laughs> so yeah, we're now just going to paint the thing the top and then around the edge because we might not be able to get to that once once the board's down. So thank you very much. So like the ballast is going to be. Going back in now, so I think with ballast, what we need to do is get the, the heaviest of the material as low as we possibly can, because that's what we want ballast on it is as low as possible in the build as you can. But when we do lift, we will be removing all the ballast just to make it easy to lift and easy on the boat. So what we haven't done yet is any cross beams on the, on the floors. On the sole board, sorry, because um, we don't actually know what's going to go here yet. So we may as well put the the structure in and where where we're going to be loading it. So this floor isn't going to be screwed down. I don't think not yet. Anyway, um, it's just going to be placed in. But just before we start putting the ballast in, I just thought I'd point out that we we haven't quite finished on the structure, but we don't know what's going to go here. So we don't quite know where to put it yet. So all right, let's we move the ballast over. Break. Get my breath back. Behind you, which Simon will show you in a minute. There's no ballast on the floor. Yay! And we've still got space to hide some more. I'm doing. Paint your floor time. Sol. Sol. You have to get all these nautical terminologies correct. I do. Otherwise, I get shouted out in the comments. All these people. You, like... See, because I'm not very bright, I can't really like think differently. I don't can't do a different language. I tried that in school, but I think I failed. So me me learning all these different terminologies is difficult. I know what I know. We all, we all know what it means, don't we? It's a flaw. Is that correct? It is, but just don't call a toilet a toilet, will ya? Why? <laughs> If it will go down the wrong pipe. <laughs> oh, they don't call the galley a kitchen. No, oh my God. It doesn't matter. People know what we mean. And Spades a spade, isn't it? It is. And we also get a lot of non-boat people watching this channel. So we don't have to overcomplicate things, do we? Sometimes we do. So, time to get the floor down. Yay. Right, so... Do it now. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. Can I stand on it? No. It doesn't fit. Don't get footprints on my new floor. 
So. So. Can't stand there though. I want to stand on it. Take your shoes off. I don't know. Put one of Gemma's hair nets on. <gasps> oh, Simon! <laughs> I don't think we looked stupid coming down the stairs either, Simon. No, I think we, um... Do you think we nailed it? We did it really well. Oh, it's easy to get a bucket now, Gem. We got some um, drips from above. Um, so, I don't want me fresh paint to get wet. So, it's bucket time. So it's just unfortunate we've got rain our rain collection system on our new floor, but yeah. at least it'll keep our floor dry. Yeah. It's too wet and windy to go upstairs now and start tracing it's, leaks. It's howling and it's proper coming down at the moment. So. so priority number one next time we have a dry day is to get up there and sort this and water leak. Sheets. Yeah. Yes. It's definitely. been over twelve months since we've sheeted that area. It's full of like tape and patches and stuff like that. So yeah. So nice fresh sheets for the winter. Yeah. But next jobs will be continuation on getting floor. more floor, yeah. and it'd be so nice. Once all the floors down, we're then going to move all the workbench over to this side, and get the woodwork done that we need to get done here. It should be fun, should not it? Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much to all our patrons yeah. and supporters who really do yeah. help support us along the way. Um, we wouldn't be as far along without no, them, would no, we? No. See you all next week. Right. See you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.